Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idanogrene. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can differentiate implicit function. So before we go straight to the solution of implicit function, let me tell you what we mean by implicit function. If you go through what we have been doing so far in differentiation, you will discover that when an equation is expressed in this form y is equals to f of s or y is a function of x in situation like this when you have an example like this y is equals to 2x to the power 3 minus 3s plus 4 so this kind of expression like this or equation we call it explicit function this is explicit function this is the one we have been doing before where they will tell you to find the y dx or they will tell you to differentiate y with respect to x in this case, y is already known. y is known as a function of x. So you can see it. The same thing with this second example. When you have y is equal to 2x minus 5 divided by 5x squared. So these are explicit functions. Because y is already known. And you can easily differentiate the y, the x in this kind of case. So that is what I mean by this statement. That it is explicit function of x. Examples of explicit function, you can see them this and this. But there are some cases, for example, now what I have here, say sometimes with equations involving say y and x, it is impossible to make y the subject of the formula. So the equation is then called an implicit function. An example of such functions include, you can see them, like situation like this. Now when I say make y the subject of this formula here, you know it may somehow be difficult to make y the subject. You can see this is raised to power 3, you can see raised to power 2. So this is even taking us to polynomial function before you can start looking for y, making y the subject in a form like this. So it will take you time. Why not just go straight to the point and use your implicit function instead of wasting time? Or look at this second example here. We have 2y squared minus 5x to the power 4 minus 2 minus 7y to the power 3 equals to 0. So if they tell you to differentiate this now or they ask you to find the y dx. You cannot waste your time making y the subject in situation like this before you now start doing the y ds in things like this you will to take your time it's somehow even impossible that's what the statement is trying to say here it is impossible to make y the subject of the formula so to avoid wasting time why not just go straight and use implicit function so that is all i have to show you today how to differentiate a situation of this kind without you making making y the subject first and finding the y the x just go straight to the point and find your the y the x so let's start with these three examples i have here let me start with the first one what you do when you are trying to make what you do when you are trying to differentiate in situation like this using implicit function the most important thing is Whenever you differentiate y, whenever you differentiate y, you must multiply the result with dy dx. So that is all you need to do. Let me start with this first one. You will see what I mean by that. So if I differentiate this one, so I'm going to get this. Let's see. Okay. Let's start and see what we are going to get. So we are going to get um, so we are going to get 4y when you differentiate 2y squared it's going to give you 4y. Just follow the basic rules of your differentiation. You have your 4y, you can see 2 times 2, 4y. Then multiply this result by dy dx. Then don't just stop there. You now say times the y the x. So that is it. Then you are true with that. Then minus. Then this is 5x to the power 4. When you differentiate that of x, there's no need multiplying by dy dx. That is the rule. Take note of that. That is the rule. For this case, now I'm going to have 4 times 5, which is 20. 20x raised to power. 3 you know the rules of differentiation you subtract one from the power that is all then 
2 this minus 2 is a constant so it will be 0 you ignore it let's forget about it then the last one will now be minus then 7 y raised power 3 so this is function of y you need to multiply the result by the y this one you are true so 3 times 7 is giving us 21 y raised to power 2 then you must multiply the result by dy dx then equals to 0 so differentiation of 0 is already 0 so we don't need to differentiate that so this is the first step of your differentiation then let's move on then you can see what happens here after you have done it the next thing is to make dy dx the subject of the formula to make the y dx the subject of the formula so what i need to do now is so the y dx i need to factorize now i need to put them in brackets we have my dy dx now dy dx then open bracket you have 4y this is 4y then the other term is uh, minus 21 minus 21y raised to power 2 okay. there's minus here I need to put this minus ok minus 21y ok so you have that there then the next thing is you can see this minus 20 x to power 3 i need to take it to the other side of the equation so i'm going to have equals to 20 20 x raised to power 3 so that is that please i want you to look at what i'm doing here whenever you differentiate y in implicit function you must multiply it with dy dx 2y squared will now become 4y times the y ds minus 5x raised to the power 4. You differentiate it. This one is the basic one you know. This is 20x raised to the power 3. Then 2 is a constant, is 0. Then minus 7y raised to the power 3. This is 3 times minus 7, which is minus 21. Then y raised to the power 2. Then because it's a function of y, you need to multiply by the y ds. Then what I did now, these are the two terms that have the y ds. I need to factorize the y ds out. It's a common factor. It came out leaving 4y minus 21y square in bracket. Then minus 20x to the power 3. I took it to the other side of the equation. So minus became plus. That's what why we have the, the next thing I need to do to get my dy ds. I need to divide by I'll divide by this one now. 4y. So let me just put it in statement. So if I divide. So, if you divide both sides now, you divide both sides by, by this term in the bracket now, by 4y minus 21y raised to power 2. So, when you divide both sides by this, this one now you are going to get that so you know when you divide both sides by this term so this is going to disappear from here so your final answer is now going to be the y dx the y dx will now be equals to 20 x raised to power 3 divided by that divided by this so this is your answer you can see it the question when you look at the question initially it looks somehow difficult but when you are differentiating it you can see that it's not difficult it's very easy so this is how you differentiate this function using implicit function method to get this result so you can see that instead of you making y the subject first then differentiating the y there why not just use the rules of implicit function as you differentiate anything y you need to multiply by the y dx as you differentiate anything y you need to multiply by the y dx and that is all 
with that so that is the end of the this particular differentiation so you can see the answer is cleared and okay so let's see this second question here if you see this if you remember our function of a function method you can use function of a function here instead of opening this bracket first you can use function of a function then you make the y the the subject so if i'm using function of a function you remember the rule of function of a function i'm going to differentiate this bracket as a single function is going to give us two your basic rules of differentiation two open bracket x plus y then the power two minus one is one so that is end of that then i will now do d dx d dx of what is inside the bracket x plus y okay i need to balance it well so d dx of x plus y so when i differentiate what is inside this bracket now so i'm going to get the result so let's see then equals to the differentiation of a constant which is constant 5 now is going to be 0 so that is the first step of our differentiation so please remember function of a function i showed you what to do in function of a, or you can use your um, chain rule method where u is equals to x plus y then du dx you understand you can do that mm -hmm. but i don't want to do that now or you can open the bracket when you open the bracket first you can when you open this bracket you can now differentiate it using this approach anyway when you, whenever you differentiate y you must multiply by dy dx but I don't want to use that. I want to use my rule or function of a function by using this method. Differentiate the bracket as a single function. When you differentiate this as a single function, what will you get? You will get 2 open bracket x plus y in this form. Then d dx of whatever is inside the bracket. So you differentiate this term. Now, so when I differentiate this, what am I going to get? And I'm going to have uh, 2 open bracket x plus y then you multiply it by the answer you have here now let's differentiate when you differentiate x differentiation of x is going to give us one that one is easy plus then differentiation of y is also one then you multiply it by dy dx so this is going to give us dy dx then equals to equals to zero then the next step we need to do now is we need to make the y the x the subject so how do we do that we need to multiply so when you open this first bracket it's going to give us 2x plus 2y multiply by the second bracket 1 plus dy dx then equals to 0 so that is that then the next thing is let's open this bracket step by step then collect like terms and that is the end of our differentiation so when i open this bracket i'm going to have 2x times 1 2x times the dy dx so which is 2x plus 2x times dy dx so that is the first multiplication then the second one is 2y we still do the same <coughs> multiplication which is plus 2y plus 2y times dy dx then equals to 0 so that is that so we are true with this now what are you what are you going to do next the next thing we are going to do, we need to factorize dy dx now, which is a dy dx. Open your bracket. And what is going to be in bracket? This is going to be in your bracket 2x, 2x plus 2y, 2x plus 2y. Going to be in bracket, you can see it then what next then 2x plus 2y we go to the other side of the equation 
which is now going to be equals to minus 2x minus 2y so 2x and 2y they will go to the other side then the next thing is to divide by this bracket 2x plus 2y when I divide by 2x plus 2y what am I going to get final result for my differentiation dy dx will now be equals to this result here minus 2x minus 2x minus 2y it's now going to divide what we have in the brackets which is 2x plus 2y so that is the answer of this particular one number 2 which is <coughs> x plus y raised to power 3 equals to 5 when you differentiate it using implicit function this is the result you are going to get for the y the x so if you wish you can also go one step further since 2s 2y is in numerator you can factorize it also so when you factorize this one let me take it to this side so I'm going to get minus when you minus open your bracket no minus is common in the numerator now which is 2x plus 2y 2s plus 2y you can see it there then divided by the denominator 2x plus 2y so you can see they are like terms 2s plus 2y 2s plus 2y so they can cancel out so when they cancel out our final answer is going to be minus 1 final answer is minus 1 so the y ds is minus 1 you can see when you differentiate this Using implicit function, your answer is going to be minus 1. So that is the end of this particular example. And that is all for that. So I want you to actually see that implicit function is not difficult. All you need to learn about implicit function is to always follow your basic rules of differentiation. Then whenever you differentiate y, you must multiply with dy dx. Whenever you differentiate y, you must multiply by dy dx. That's what happened here. Whenever you differentiate y, you can see it. 20, 21y raised to power 2, you must multiply by dy dx. Whenever you differentiate y, 2 times 2, 4y, you must multiply by dy dx. So let's do this last example, this one I have here, before we go for today's video. Then what are we going to do here let's see let me do it in this place so this third example i have here let me solve it here so if you are asked to differentiate this how are you going to differentiate this using implicit function okay so let's differentiate it now so the basic rules remember let me check okay so we are okay now so this is 4y square x 4y square x so when you look at y square x so this up this is product now y square is multiplying x so we are going to use product through to differentiate this short place here so the 4 needs to be outside bracket first so we have 4 open bracket then remember your product rule u divide the x so if i call this one u and i call this one v so the rule says you pick u first, which is y raised to power 2. Then you differentiate the second function. Dv dx, when you differentiate x, it's going to be 1. So you leave that. Then plus, so this is uv, this is v now. When you take v, which is x, v is now a, then you differentiate u. Then du dx, which is 2y. That is 2y. Then remember the rules. The rules of differentiation says whenever you differentiate the implicit function, the rule says you must multiply by dy ds whenever you differentiate y. So that is this first term here, 4y square x. So when you differentiate it, this is the result you are going to get. You take note of that. So to make it more compatible, let me put the 2 in front of this place. So this is what you are going to get there. Take note, this is u, v, u, v, u, 
you pick it first, which is y square, divide the um, divide the u, divide the x, which is the second term, differentiate x is one. So that's why you didn't have anything here. Plus, you pick the second term, which is v, that is x, which is this x. You differentiate the second term, which is y square. So differentiation of y square is two y. Then whenever you differentiate y in implicit function, you must multiply by the y dx. So that is the end of this one. So let's go to the second term. That is 5 also. I need to put it in bracket also. Then this is u. x squared is u. Then y raised to the power 3 is v. So when you differentiate u, x squared, I'm going to have 2x. Then, okay, sorry. This is u, v. So you pick u first, which is x raised to the power 2. That is the rule. You need to pick u. Then you differentiate this second term, which is dv du. Now this one, when you differentiate this, is going to give us three. That is three y, three y raised to power two. Then because it's a function of y, now you must multiply by dy dx. So that is the rule. Then this three, let's bring three to the front here. Let's put 3 to this place, that is 3, that should be well arranged, so that is the first one, that is the first one, you pick U, you differentiate this one, then plus, plus, then you pick this one now, Y raised to power 3, then you differentiate, you, when you differentiate X, now you are going to have 2X here, then 2S times this. That's what you are going to have. That is 2x y raised to power 3. So that is it. Then you are true with the second term. Then the last term, which is plus 4. When you differentiate plus 4y, this will just give us 4. Then it's a positive first, which is 4. Then differentiation of y is 1. Then you must multiply by dy dx then finally your answer is now going to be equal to zero so with this now we need to do now is to open bracket color like term and that is all so let's go on now when you open the first bracket this is going to give us 4y raised to power 2 then 4 times 2 again you have your 8 xy which is multiplying dy dx then minus 15 that is 5 times 3 here you get your minus 15 x square y square times dy dx dy dx then plus 5 times 2 again, which is minus, it's going to give us minus 10 x y raised to the power 3. You don't forget 5 times 3, then 5 times 2, like this. Then finally, we have a plus 4 plus 4 dy dx, then equals to 0. Okay, now that we are through with this, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next now? The next thing is you factorize all the terms with dy dx. dy dx, dy dx. So it is only minus 10xy raised to 3. That is not a that's not a term, common term to dy dx. So if I bring my dy dx out in brackets, dy dx put it out in bracket so I'm left with this which is 4y 4y raised to power 2 sorry 4y raised to power 2 okay there's a sign here I need to put positive sign here it's a positive sign no this is 4 times y square which is 4y square plus it so 4y is not a 
term with the y the x so i forgot to put the positive sign very very important so what i have here is let me adjust this bracket what i have with this bracket is not 4 so i'm having 8xy 8xy that is the first term with the y the s followed by this next term minus 15 minus 15x squared y squared then followed by this plus 4 plus 4 so that is that then it will now be equals to then the ones without the y ds which is minus 4y that is this one or i can start with this let me start with positive value here which is 10 x y raised to power 3 then minus 4 y raised to power 2 so that is that so this is 1 2 3 times you can see them in brackets 1 2 3 then 1 2 yeah, yeah, yeah. so that is total of uh, 5 times 1 2 okay 1 2 3 4 5 times so finally our answer will now be dy dx dy dx now be equals to so this you do have the variable side by the bracket which is 10 xy with the power 3 minus 4y with the power 2 divided by 8 xy minus 15 x raised to power 2 y raised to power 2 then plus 4 plus 4 so this is the answer of this one when you differentiate this expression or this equation using implicit function this is the result you are going to get so this is all i have for you in implicit function just remember whenever you differentiate y you are going to multiply by dy ds then a situation like this, this type I just did now, is if you use product rule because this is y squared multiplying x. So you use u v u v. Remember product rule, which is u times the u dv times the v dx. So that is u is y squared, the v dx is uh, one when you differentiate x. Then plus you now take this one now, which is v that is x. Then you differentiate y squared, and the differentiation of y squared is two y. Then you must multiply by the y ds so most times this kind of example students are always confused about it just settle down take your paper take your biro don't just watch the video and assume you understand it you must pick your paper and your biro do the differentiation step by step you will understand it very well look at this other one now minus five came out in bracket so you will focus on this two use your product truth so if you pick this one as u see i didn't differentiate x square then differentiate y raised to power 3 which is 3 y raised to power 2 then 3 y raised to power 2 you need to multiply by the y dx because it's y function then plus now you leave this one you don't differentiate this one now which is y raised to power 3 you can see i didn't differentiate it then you differentiate the second term x square which is 2x so that is it then you now differentiate 4y which is 4 times the y dx because differentiation of y is 1 then you must multiply by dy dx times 4 equals to 0. Then you now collect your like terms, open your brackets, see, open your brackets, see, then leave this, then collect like terms, factorize the ones with dy dx, which is this, this, and this, uh, 8xy minus 15x square y square plus 4. Then the other one should go to the other side, which is 4y square and minus 10xy raised to power 3. Then the Bible side by this, that is all. So this is always implicit function. Differentiation of implicit function, it can never be difficult than this. You can follow the previous examples we did. You can see it. Then go through the conditions, implicit function. And that is that. So... When you go through the video, you see that it's not difficult. It's all about the same rule you know for your differentiation. But whenever you differentiate the y, the s, you must multiply by. 
whenever you differentiate y you must multiply by dy dx so you can practice these three simple questions and that is all i have for you in this video do have a nice day